Hey yo, what's going on everybody? This is David and today we are going to be checking out PPSS PP on the iPhone. This is basically a PSP emulator running on iOS. You don't have to jailbreak your iPhone or iPad anymore. You can download it natively from the App Store because Apple finally allows emulators and play PSP games. So personally, I'm someone that's pretty new to emulation. I've been trying to kind of get into it. It was a little bit confusing at first, but this is bar none the easiest way to start playing emulated games, especially PSP games. So all you gotta go do is go into the app store, go into search PPSS PP and literally download it right there. Once you downloaded that, open the app and whatever game you want loaded, just hit load and then click your game. I'm not going to tell you how to download the games or where to get them, but it is incredibly easy. It literally took me like five minutes to find out where to download them safely. All right. So then it's going to ask me, do I want to install the game from the zip file? Go ahead and install. Some of the games will come in a zip file. Some of them will come in an ISO file, but even if it does come in a zip file, what's going to be in that zip is an ISO file. So there we go. I downloaded it. Now we can click games. There we go and click on it. Now you can play with the on screen controls, but I recommend using a controller like this. So this is a PS5 controller right here, DualSense. And you can also go into the menus and go into settings and run the games at a higher resolution. So native, I believe is auto one to one. So that's what the game originally runs at, but through emulation, you can actually run the game at a higher resolution to better match your display. So my display on my iPhone 13 mini is a 1080p screen. So I can go up to 4X 1080p or higher if I want to, but I'm just going to go up to four times PSP 1080p. And in most games, this is just fine and it runs it at a perfect 60 frames per second. But some games like God of War, which I will play a little bit later, that game does require a little bit more horsepower than what my phone can offer. So I do have to play at 3x. So it is that easy. Literally download it, download the ISO or zip file, and you're good to go. And boom, I am now literally playing a, an actual PSP game of Need for Speed Most Wanted on my iPhone 13 mini. This is freaking crazy. Like I said, I'm pretty new to emulation. It is not something that I am very versed in. It's just not something I've really gotten into. I was just going to kind of play all my backlog of games first and then kind of get into it. Being on iOS and having it be so accessible and easy through the App Store is a great way to start playing emulation games. And look how flawlessly this runs. Just a flawless 30 frames per second. Let's go back to the menu. You know, you can do all this through your controller. You don't even have to touch the screen. Let's check out Tekken 8. We're gonna check out God of War at the end because it is the most demanding game. All right, let's go ahead and play an arcade battle real quick. I will pick a random character, Kazuya. Now, this is only my second time playing Tekken 6 on this emulator, so excuse me if I super duper suck, but check this out, man. This is a full-on PSP game. I know emulation has been around for a long time, but like I said, I am new to it. So for me, this is kind of crazy. Like This is like, I don't even understand it type of thing because I'm literally playing an actual PSP game on my iPhone. And it's amazing. That is one thing that's been missing from iPhone is emulation. And in the future, they will add probably more support for iPhone, like Metal API and all that, because you do have to use OpenGL at the moment, which is not the greatest API. You know, it's, it's good for general use, but it's, a little slow 
so in the future maybe they'll add metal api and stuff like that so it'll be a lot more performant on iphone and maybe we will even get like ps2 emulation and all that xbox whatever right and so far all the controls have just worked out the box i haven't had to remap anything i literally just connected my dual sense through bluetooth and it just picked it up it's just running flawlessly and with very little input lag all right so let's go ahead and check out god of war now god of war does need to be run at 3x resolution so we're going to go into video settings and we're going to run it at 3x so if you're wondering you can actually on the fly change the resolution so if i wanted to I uh, can change it to 1080p on the fly and it's actually going to change the resolution. You don't have to exit out the game and all that. I've still yet to play God of War 3. I have played God of War 2018, God of War Ragnarok, but I've never played the older God of Wars. So I, I still got to play God of War 3, God of War 2 and 1. And then obviously this one right here. And it's pretty cool that I have it available on my iPhone now. I don't have to like get a PSP or anything like that. And of course, if you have a backbone or whatever, or anything that attaches to your iPhone, you can use those as well. You don't have to use a DualSense or an Xbox controller or anything like that. And man, look how good this looks. I mean, just check this out. This looks amazing and it plays great like look at this the game is flawless so you can see I'm having a little bit of like frame dips right so on the fly I can go into my video settings I can go okay I want to play at 2x I mean I still don't really see a resolution change that much like on this small iPhone mini like I barely see a difference so for me that's not even a big deal but if you're playing on an iPad or something like that you want to you know up that resolution and obviously if you're playing like on an M1 or M2 or M3 or 4 I don't actually they don't have an M3 iPad but if you're playing on an M2 or M4 iPad I mean you can probably just play at 4k or whatever Nasty. I'm actually surprised how good this looks for a like for a portable game that long ago. This is impressive graphics, man. I'm just saying, like Damn. PSP was ahead of its time hundred percent. Though the game can get bogged down when there's like, I don't know, heavy cutscenes or something like that. So when I was playing it four times and this scene was coming on, sometimes I would get frame dips to the 30s. But that could have also been because my my phone is thermal limiting. When I when I touched my phone, it was it was pretty hot, and especially right now as I'm recording this video. And I am uh, playing this at the same time. This game, you know, the, these emulators, they use a lot of your CPU. So they can overheat your phone quite quickly. And my, my iPhone 13 mini overheats really fast. But I mean, still playable. Like, yeah, there are some slowdowns because I'm probably recording. That's why it was actually running a lot smoother before I was recording, even at four times. Oh, damn, son. Got his ass, man. I like how the quick time events are actually like you really have to press them fast, unlike the newer God of Wars, where it's literally just a cutscene and give you so much time. Check it out, download it, have yourself some fun. All right, thank y'all for watching. Be blessed.